Hello everyone. There is a big announcement. We have just released a motivational book called The Singing Panda. The book is a heartfelt guide to achieve your goals and success. So, do check it out. You can find the link in the description below. And now, let's begin with our video. At age 6, she wrote her first story, a story about a little rabbit. Her mother used to love her writing and often used to smile and listen to her daughter tell a story. The little girl dreamt of becoming a writer one day, but her father told her that writing will never pay for the bills. Don't even think about it. After school, she applied to the Oxford University but was rejected. They said that she was not good enough. Time went on. She graduated, took smaller jobs. Her dream of becoming a writer was now far away. But one day, on a four-hour delayed train journey, she got an idea for a book. She went home and started scribbling the story. She felt happy doing what she loved the most, writing. Few months later, when the world was celebrating New Year's Eve, she was still writing her book and watching the fireworks outside. That day, she got a call that her mother has passed away. That was the most painful day of her life. She felt devastated. She wanted to tell her mother about the book she was writing, but now she can't. Heartbroken, she moved to a different country to start a new life. But after 18 months, when she came back, her whole world was now different. She was now divorced, jobless, and all alone with her little daughter. She had no money and a child to take care of. She tried getting a new job, but was not able to find any. She took loan from friends, signed up for welfare benefits just to survive. She felt as if her life was over. She got depressed. There were days when she thought she would better die. That's when she said to herself, "The hard times will pass. I just have to survive." Having no other option, she began seriously writing her book while also taking care of her little girl. She used to write in cafes at home, any place where she could get her daughter to fall asleep. People made fun of her, saying she is spoiling the life of her little kid. What will she gain by writing a stupid book? There were days she too saw herself as a failure but she again said to herself these bad times will pass i just have to survive a year later she completed her first book she got very happy hoping now it was time for things to become better but happiness was still far away she submitted her book to different publishing houses but all rejected it 12 publishing houses rejected her manuscript. She was told she was not good enough. She should first take a writing course and then rewrite the whole book. With each rejection, her dream of getting the book published was slowly slipping away. She felt the saddest, felt it was time to finally give up. But when all appeared lost, that's when the destiny smiled at her. 8 year old daughter of a publisher read her book and loved it seeing his daughter's response the publisher decided to release her book and gave her a 1500 pound advance she had tears in her eyes finally her dream of publishing a book was going to come true but she was told by the publisher to find another job as children's books don't make much money now about 22 years after that first book release that 
children's book which was told that it will not sell much is now the best selling book series in history and the girl who was considered poor and a failure became the world's first author to earn over a billion dollars she is joan rowling better known as jk rowling and the book which was rejected 12 times was harry potter life is not a one long happy journey we all face good and bad times success is about surviving the hard times when you feel all alone success is about striving forward when things appear the hardest because who knows when the destiny will finally smile at you you just have to survive the hard times